televisions are a great deal. They are the centerpiece of our homes. They are the first piece of tech to be noticed in the living room. And most important, they are a form of entertainment. You will be amused by how many people don't know what type of television to buy and for what environment. In the past decade, one needed not to think hard on what type of television to get since almost all televisions were LED, LCD displays or plasma. Today in 2023, television displays have evolved and consumers have a wide range of choices to satisfy their needs. This video is aimed at explaining the different types of television displays found out there. This will help consumers in making right choices when buying TVs. All the televisions get all the hype for their good picture and great contrast ratio. As you are going to witness, there are many technologies of displays out there. For example, all the televisions get all the hype for their good picture and great contrast ratio. And again, what's mini about mini LED television? And also, what is the difference between ULED and QLED display technology? OLED and QD OLED. These panels are great for picture quality and are always regarded as the best in the market, but they are pricey. LG and Samsung have the best OLED televisions in the market today. So the pros of the OLED and QD OLED television panels are the contrast ratio is insanely great and the picture quality is just mind boggling. Yeah, great. On the cons, there is a possibility of burnout when subjected to still images for many hours. They are extremely expensive, very expensive, and they are not bright enough for brighter rooms. I totally agree that OLED panel is the winner since combination of brighter images and perfect blacks make images pop in a way other display technologies cannot match. QD OLED is the new flavor in the OLED technology where the panel is paired with quantum dots. This has the ability to improve the picture quality and brightness when compared to traditional OLED televisions. Compared to OLED TVs, QD OLED are the most expensive of the two, but they have one major downside which is image retention. If you are watching still images for a very long time, let's say something like watching news where the news anchor is sitting in one position for a very long time, there's a possibility of image retention which is also known as burnout. This is a common downside and the first OLED televisions had these flaws. Next one is the mini LED. This is a more recent technology which has some advantages on its sleeve. Though not quite as good as all the televisions, they are big, bright, and with great images. For the pros, mini LED can be used in huge screens. For example, the TCL mini LED television can go up to 98 inches, which is crazy. Think of it. They also have great contrast and produce very bright images for brighter rooms. For the cons, images are not at par with all the technology and they are expensive when compared to other display technology. Mini LED can trace its evolution from LED LCDs. Both of these technologies use light emitting diodes to create light and an LCD layer to create an image. The difference comes in when you look at the numbers of and the sizes of LEDs. The LEDs found in the mini LED are many and quite small as the name suggests. Contrast ratio is the main issue that LED LCDs struggle with. Mini LEDs, similar to other local dimming LED LCDs, have the potential to enhance the contrast ratio by dimming specific screen areas, thereby intensifying the darkness of dark areas. The challenge lies in the fact that even the finest local dimming zones still encompass relatively large portions of screen. Consequently, when a small bright object such as a street light appears against a dark background, it can elevate the brightness of the surrounding black area, rendering it a shade of gray. And this is not very good when you're trying to look at the contrast ratio between two televisions. 
let's say OLED and Mini LED. Despite significant efforts by engineers to mitigate this issue over the years, it endures a fundamental limitation, primarily due to the constraints of physics. With Mini LED technology, a larger number of smaller LEDs are distributed across the television sphere. In most instances, this significantly reduces the dimensions of the local dimming zone, creating an outstanding contrast ratio that appears exceptional to an untrained eye. While it may not attain pixel perfection like OLED technology, it comes remarkably close. Mini LED televisions also offer the capability to produce exceptionally brighter images, making them well suited for daytime viewing in well lit rooms. Additionally, there is virtually no risk of image retention, making Mini LED an appealing alternative for gamers concerned about damaging their expensive OLED screens. LED, QLED, LED LCD. These are the most common televisions in our homestead since they are inexpensive. LCD stands as the most prevalent display technology with OLED being a distant runner-up. The LCD category encompasses various subtypes such as Mini LED, LED, QLED, QNED, ULED and many more. LCD TVs have maintained a presence for over two decades. This has made them to solidify their status as the longest running mainstream television technology still active in production. While there have been noteworthy advancement in terms of screen sizes, brightness and overall picture quality, LCD technology still falls short in comparison to OLED display technology. Regardless of the specific flavor of LED LCD, they all share a common approach employing LEDs to generate light and an LCD layer to produce the actual image. The primary advantage of LED LCDs lie in their affordability. They are remarkably cost-effective to manufacture across a wide range of screen sizes, offering a level of flexibility that OLED technology cannot match today. We can all say thanks to decades of advancements, even budget LCD TVs exhibit impressive display quality, often surpassing the performance of top-tier televisions from a decade ago. Many LED LCDs also incorporate quantum dots to enhance both brightness and improve color in those displays. On the flip side, it is worth noting that other TV technologies can deliver superior quality, sometimes significantly um, so. These alternatives offer better contrast, richer and deeper colors, higher brightness, and a range of other enhancements that contribute to a more visually striking experience to the consumers. However, achieving this enhanced wow factor does come at a higher price point. For example, when you look at the OLED televisions, they are extremely expensive but they have that wow factor when you view them for the first time. Once you go OLED, I don't think you can ever go back. Hey, hope you learned something from this video. A sub to the channel will be amazing and I will catch you in the next one.